Hi everyone, uh, this is Finding Value. Uh, I'm gonna do a little clip on rhodium. Uh, not a lot of people know about rhodium, not a lot of people invest in rhodium, but let's dive down and see what opportunities rhodium may bring for investors. So we're gonna jump right in, I'm gonna turn my camera off, and we'll see what it has to offer. So rhodium is a platinum group metal. We've got the six group metals here uh, that are platinum group metals. It's a white silvery metal, I'll show you in the next slide what it looks like. It's ultra rare. It's very hard, corrosion resistant, and it's a transition metal. It's, there's, there's no substitute for rhodium. Platinum can substitute for palladium, but there's no substitute for rhodium. It's considered to be a critical metal. 80% uh, of its demand comes from the auto industry, and we can look at the other uh, demand here shortly. It's a byproduct of production of platinum and palladium. It is very rare and it's 0 0.001 parts per million in the Earth's crust. Uh, they produce 1 million ounces per year for a supply and it's been pretty steady at that 1 million ounces for, for a pretty long time. Uh, rhodium bullion buying is just a little sli a sliver of overall demand. Finding a trusted dealer <laughs> Uh, of rhodium is very difficult. And rhodium is recommended only for experienced investors as it's expensive and extremely volatile. And we'll look at this volatility. It's pretty awesome uh, if you can time yourself in and out, which I think we can. Some more, ro so, and that's rhodium on the right-hand side there. It's a five troy ounce uh, rhodium bar. Uh, another fact. So uh, there's a process that uses the sun's thermal energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into high energy fuels. Uh, we've got this process, but it uses rhodium as a catalyst. So there, in the future, for chemical storage of solar energy, rhodium is being used as a catalyst for this. Uh, so it's another demand in the future for rhodium, and I, it could be a, a gigantic demand. You gotta keep in mind that the palladium produ uh, sorry, rhodium production is pretty stable at a million ounces and it's a byproduct metal. So I don't think the, the uh, supply is really going to increase all that much. This is rhodium demand and right now it's 80% automobile industry, 6% glass industry, 8% chemical industry, and 3% other usage. So mainly automobile. For global mine production, it's mainly South Africa at 80%. 12 percent Russia. We've got some small slivers from Zimbabwe and USA, Canada, and then just a slight sliver from everywhere else. So it's mainly South Africa and Russia. The total light duty vehicle, uh, since it's used as an auto catalyst, uh, as we get stricter and stricter emissions, they load these uh, catalysts with more rhodium in it because that's the main uh, metal that's converting all this stuff inside the catalytic converter. And it looks like going forward, we've got you know steady demand, increased demand for vehicles. So we're gonna see a steady increased demand uh, for rhodium. And this is what the market balance, well, I'll get into the market balance here shortly, but this is the 40 year rhodium price history on it. Massive upsides and massive downsides. So we've got bubbles bursting, you know, growing and bursting everywhere. So if you can time this, and I'll show you how to time it using ratios, uh, I think we can make massive purchasing power gains in rhodium. And I think we should all uh, put a little bit of rhodium in our portfolio when the time uh, tells us to. But look at that, a 20 times increase here. Two 20 times increases almost. Now this is the market balance of rhodium. And you can see You've got the surpluses, the deficiencies, or, or yeah, we've got more surpluses and then we've got more deficits. So the deficits are what really drive the price and we've got a massive deficit coming, at least forecasted. So this deficit is going to push rhodium prices probably much higher. They're at $14,000 right now and it's probably gonna go higher with these deficits. So what does rhodium look like in a ratio? And how can we use ratios 
uh, to time our rhodium purchases. So this is how we do it. Whenever you've got a metal that shows, you know, it's cheap in 82, it's cheap, or 83, 83, it's cheap in 83 to buy rhodium, according to these charts. So what does that look like on a price? In 83, it was right here at the bottom before you get this huge move higher. And in 91, it was expensive. It was a lot of money. Let's see what it looks like in 91. In 91, we have a total price peak in ratios in every single metal. So we could have timed this top pretty easily right when it turned, we would have popped out right here. That's what I would have done. And we can see it was extremely cheap in 2014, 2015, 2016 against every single metal. Man, we just missed this opportunity to buy rhodium in 2016, 2015, and 2017, right here. All the metals screamed a buy for rhodium. And you can even tell, big move up, slow leak out, big move up, slow leak out. When you know how to read charts, this is definitely a bottom, and then it broke that downtrend right here. Big buyer right there if I would have known this. Um, and I just didn't know how to purchase it uh, in the past because the dealers, there's just not many dealers that carry rhodium. So that is rhodium. Uh, it is currently expensive if you start looking at most of these charts because it is really moved to the upside. So uh, it's screaming that platinum is extremely cheap. So that's, that's the one I prefer is platinum, but rhodium, we got to start looking in how do we can incorporate this into our portfolio so we can ride this massive volatility to increase metals in our portfolio and increase our overall wealth and purchasing power. This is Finding Value. I appreciate you guys from listening. Please subscribe and comment below. I like your comments. And if you guys want to see different videos, leave some comments below. I'm willing to, to look into whatever. Thank you.